Greetings, it's Ian from Arthi Home here. Hope you're all well. Hope your Easter break has started well. Um, welcome to Friday. Uh, as Friday is live album ranking, we will be looking today at the ELO family, which includes every out live album from ELO, from ELO Part 2, and the orchestra, and Jeff Lynne's ELO. I've put them all together, listen to them, and I'll rank them as a one. And that's how I've done it. I've ranked it as a one. The sound, the production, and how good the songs are on these albums. Um, so, I've got ten for you. So, we'll start at number ten. <coughs> and coming in at number ten is the BBC Sessions that was released in 1999. Uh, these were sessions recorded at the BBC's Langham Studio with um, they were put out on air as a in session with Whispering Bob Harris and, the, and the, these were three concerts that were, one was done um, went out on the 27th of January 1973 that was the first two tracks 30th of April 1973 we had three tracks 3 to 5 and then in February March 74 we had tracks 6 to 10 different lineups on each out track so the first five tracks is De Jeff Lynn, Bev Bevan, Richard Tandy, Mike Albuquerque, uh, Wilf Gibson, Mike Edwards Wilf Gibson of course is violin, Mike Albuquerque is bass and vocals, we know the other three what they do, Mike Edwards cello and Clive Walker cello and on the last four tracks it's Jeff Lynn guitars and vocals, Bev Bevan on the drums as ever Richard Tandy on the keyboards, Mal, Mike the Albuquerque on bass and vocals, first appearance of Mick Kaminsky, Mike Edwards on the other cello and the first appearance of Hugh McDowell First track on this is Kumia. Then we get Roll Over Beethoven from the Sun to the World. All really good early albums. Mama. A stonking version of In the Hall of the Mountain King. King of the Universe. Bluebird is Dead. New World Rising. A really good version of Daybreaker and Mama Bell. Nice collection of songs. But what this does at lack is that um, live atmosphere. Because it was basically live in the studio. They're really good versions of the songs. Um, and I do like this album, don't get me wrong. But uh, it does lack a bit of clapping and all that sort of good stuff. So, but I'm still going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.5. Okay then, coming in at number 9. We have the orchestra that we did last week. As a, their album, No Rewind. This is live in 2008. This is recorded in various places in Eastern Europe on their, t eight, on their tour in 2008. This features Eric Troyer, Mick Kaminsky. Eric Troyer is keyboards and vocals guitar. Mick Kaminsky is ever on the violin. Gordon Townsend on drums. Kelly, Kelly Gruker on bass guitar and vocals. Phil Bates on guitar and vocals. And Lewis Clark on the keyboards. Their set list was Evil Woman, Living Thing, Xanadu. You don't get many live versions of that. There's a couple of minutes of it. Uh, Wild West Hero, pretty good version. Uh, Sweet Talking Woman, Shine a Little Love. Now, there's not many live versions of that about, so it's nice to hear that. Confusion, Confusion uh, Showdown, always a classic. Hold on, Tail Height. Pretty good. Can't get you out of my head. Pretty cool. Telephone line. Standing in the rain. It's always a classic. Mr. Blue Sky, of course. Then we have this uh, twist and shout medley thing. Yeah, it's all right. A great version of Ticket to the Moon. There's not many um, live versions of that around either. It's a really good version. Lovely singing on that. And do ya? There is nothing wrong with this album if you like your ELO songs and they were really sung well by Eric 
Bill and Kelly. Good production as well. Um, I enjoy listening to it. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's not got Jeff Lynn in because Jeff Lynn was not doing anything the yellow at that time. So this is the nearest you're going to get to it. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 8, we have Live at Wembley. 1978. This came out in 1998. Came out on VHS <laughs> and DVD. And the band at the time was Jeff Lynn on guitar and vocal, Bev Bevan on the drums, Richard Tandy keyboards, Kelly Gruker on the bass and vocals, Mick Kaminsky violin. Hugh McDowell on the cello and Melvin Gale on the cello. Got the introduction from Mr. Tony Curtis, Standing in the Rain, Night in the City, Turn to Sown, Tightrope, which is another track you don't get live much, Telephone Line, Rock Araya, uh, Wild West Hero, Showdown, Sweet Talking Woman, a very short version of Mr. Blue Sky, Do Ya, Living Thing and Roll Over Bout. Holden. Great to see this band, however, this is the big however. This album has, has accusations of the band lip syncing. And the CD, it does sound it because when they did this as a television broadcast, it was poorly mixed in mono sound and they used a lot of backing tapes, admittedly, due to the sound problems. But if you want a really good version of this, it's the DVD. They've sort of taken it out. The tapes were for the band's ears only, so they could get in tune because there's this five of the glass stage set. But it shouldn't have been heard from the, by the audience, and it was. It's a shame, because it, it, it is a good tr performance, some of the tracks. But I still enjoy it. It's a bit of nostalgia. But the DVD is a much better sound on it, and I'll give this an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, coming in at number 7 is Electric Like Orchestra Live. It was released in 2013, and the album consists of performances from their 2001 Zoom tour that was on television CBS in Los Angeles. The band at the time was Jeff Lynn and Richard Tandy. Uh, we had Mark Manley, guitar, rhythm guitar and keyboards, Matt Bissonette, bass guitar, backing vocals, Greg Bissonette, drums and backing vocals, Peggy Bold Baldwin, electric cello, Sarah O'Brien, electric cello, and Rosie Vella, backing vocals. Um, on here we get Evil Woman, Showdown, a great version of Secret Messages, which actually sounds better than the studio version. Um, Living Thing, Sweet Talking Woman. Again, another short version of Mr. Blue Sky. Can't Get You Out of My Head. Twilight. Again, you don't get that often on a live album. Pretty good. Confusion. Lovely song. I've always liked that. Um, don't Bring Me Down and Roll Over Beethoven. And also on here, you get two studio tracks as bonus tracks. One of them's called Out of Luck. It was recorded in 2010. It's just one of those little rockabilly Jeff Lynn tracks that we all like. Pretty good. And Cold Feet, again, it's one of them typical Jeff Lynn tracks. Nice harmonies, nice melody, and just well produced. It's not a bad live album. Uh, I think the production's a little bit wane in places. Um, but it was nice to hear tracks that you don't normally hear live. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Coming in at number 6, we have an album from ELO Part 2 now. Featuring the Moscow Symphony Orchestra. Recorded in Birmingham 1991. Um, on here we have Eric Troyer, Lewis Clark. Doing the orchestral and keyboards. Eric Troyer on vocals and keyboards. Pete Haycock was vocals and guitar. Kelly Gruker on the bass and vocals. Mick Kaminsky on violin. Beth Bevan on the drums. Neil Lockwood 
vocals, keyboards, guitar, and Hugh McDowell on cello. Opens up with Turn to Stone, great track. Evil Woman, One Thousand Eyes, Showdown Living Thing, Every Night. Then they do a hit, a few of the hits in the medley. Hold on tight, and then got a bit of from the Moscow Symphony Orchestra, they do 1812 and all that. Honest Men, Kiss Me Red, Telephone Line, Easy Street, and Roll Over Beethoven. It's a really, really good album. Um, I love it. I love the the full orchestra in there as well. It's nice to see some of these classic songs and some of their stuff off their first um, album as ELO Part 2. Fantastic album. Really enjoy listening to that one. So I'm going to give that an RTO ranking of 8.5. Okay, coming in at number 5, again from ELO Part 2, we have One Night Live in Australia. It was recorded on their tour in 1995 and released in 1996. On here we've got bass and vocals Kelly Grucker again, Bev Bevan on the drums, Phil Bates on guitars, Eric Troyer on vocals and keyboards, the orchestral keyboards from Lewis Clark and the violin Mr. Mick Kaminsky. Opens up with Standing in the Rain. That was a brilliant version. Great version of that. You know, Kelly hits them high notes really well. Evil Woman, Woman Don't You Wanna, a track off their second album. Showdown, Can't Get You Out of My Head. Whiskey Girls is one of their own tracks, pretty good. Living Thing, One More Tomorrow is beautiful. Mr. Blue Sky, the full Monty, even that bit at the end. Uh, Terror for Telephone Line. Ain't necessary, ain't necessarily so. That's all right. The Fox, one of um, Kelly's songs from one of his um, solo albums. Strange Magic, Sweet Talking Woman, a little bit of that. Confusion, a little excerpt from that. Do You Again, Rock a Riot, brilliant. Kelly hits them notes very well. Roll over that Beethoven. All Fall Down, Witness, One Thousand Eyes, Hold On Tight, Turn to Stone. Rock and Roll is King, which sounds really good live. Last Train to London is Belter. And Don't Bring Me Back Down. Um, definitely the best live album from ELO Part 2. I saw them on this tour myself, and they were absolutely fantastic. Again, we didn't know that Jeff Lynne was quiet, so this was, you know, to us it was ELO without Jeff Lynne, and I love it. And I love this album, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Okay then, coming in at number 4. We have Live at Winterland 76. Recorded at the Winterland Ballroom, and it was released to the world on, in 1998. It was recorded during the band's Face the Music Tour. And along with another album from 1974, The Night Went Out in Long Beach. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, there's a lot of vocals here from Kelly. Because you get on this a lot of the um, El Dorado suite. So the lineup on this album is Jeff Lynne on the guitar and vocals. Bev Bevan drums. Richard Tandy on the keyboards. K Kelly Grew at the bass. Mick Kaminsky, Hugh McDowell and Marvin Gale do the strings. Get a great version of Fire on High to open up with. Absolutely brilliant. Poker, great track. Night Rider, Showdown. Then you get the El Dorado Suite, which is fantastic. A fantastic version of um, Strange Magic. Then you get a medley of the 10 538 Overture and Do Ya. Now, at the time, Do Ya was. Uh, was they hadn't recorded it on an album. They were doing like a cover of a move song because it was originally a move song. Um, Evil Woman, Mama Bell, love that track live, really heavy, and Roll Over Bell, Beethoven. I think this is a little gem of an album. It was great here in the El Dorado Suite live. This is that I say the classic lineup of ELO, and this is better than that uh, 
live in 78 when they did the Out of the Blue stuff. The sound on this is brilliant. Much better. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9.2. Okay, then coming in at number three. We have another album recorded in 1974. And this was actually released in 74-ish. Uh, the night the light went on in Long Beach. Again, this, this features Jeff Lynne on lead vocals and guitar, Bev Bevan on drums, Richard Tandy, Mike the Albuquerque, Mick Kaminsky, Hugh McDowell and Mike Edwards. This opens up with the, probably the best version of Daybreaker. It's the definitive version. It's much better than the studio version, and I love it. Let me get Showdown, classic version of that. Let me get their version of Day Tripper uh, by the Beatles, of course. And I like their version of it. It's pretty good. And then we get the 10538 Overture, classic. Then we get a violin solo from Mick Kaminsky in including the Orange Blossom Special. I love that piece of music. Uh, it's pretty good. Then they go into the Hall of the Mountain King, which brilliant. It then goes into Great Balls of Fire. And we end up with Roll Over, Beethoven. A uh, stonking album, great production. Love all the tracks on here, even the covers. It's a great little album. So I'm gonna give this an RTO ranking of 9.3. Coming in at number two, we have Live at the BBC. This is a two disc featuring various lineups of ELO released in 1999 and features more sessions and live segments recorded at the BBC. Uh, for the first four tracks are recorded at the famous Parish Theatre. Uh, five to 11 are recorded at the Hippodrome Golders Green as well so got some great stuff all done around 73 74 first track on here is from the sun to the world boogie number one great track I uh, love that track then we get Kumia comes fantastic live a stonking version of in the hall of the mountain king I love I love that piece of music anyway regardless of who does it even the classical but ELO do a fine version on this. Roll over Beethoven, always brilliant. King of the Universe, Blue Bird is Dead, all these classic early songs. Um, oh No, Not Susan, New World Rising. Another stonking violin solo with the Orange Blossom special. And it goes back into the in the Hall of the Mountain King. Great Balls of Fire. And then the other track. Uh, we then we get another live performance done in 1976 at the Guildhall in Portsmouth. Fire on High, great version, Poker Night Rider. Then we get an On the Third Day medley, which is brilliant. You get Ocean Breakup, King of the Universe, Owner and Susan. Bluebird is Dead, goes back into Not, not No, Not Susan. New World Rising and the Ocean Breakup again, so it just sort of goes in and out of each other. Pretty cool. Uh, Showdown, great version. El Dorado Overture and Can't Get You Out of My Head. Poor Boy, the Greenwood, excellent. Illusions in G Major, Major is brilliant on this. Strange Magic, Evil Woman, and Mama Bell. This features all the early people, uh, you know, the Mick Kaminsky's, Mike Edwards, they're all on here at some stage. I love this, this is just classic old ELO. And it's a great album that I'll play a lot. And I'm gonna give this an RTO ranking of 9.4. So my number one, might be controversial, but I don't think it is. It's Wembley or Bust, recorded on the 24th of June 2017, released no 17th of November 2017. Okay, the only member of ELO on here is Jeff Lynne, but the 
musicians he had on this was, uh, was superb. Mike Stevens was backing vocals and acoustic and guitars. Marcus Bryan on the piano and keyboards. Bernie Smith on synthesizers. Donovan Hepburn drums. Milton McDonald guitars. Lee Pomroy backing vocals and bass guitar. Joe Webb backing vocals. Ian Hornell backing vocals. Melanie Lewis McDonald backing vocals. Rosie Langley violin, Amy Langley cello, and Jessica Cop Top Ch Cox cello opens up with a fantastic version of Standing in the Rain. Great way to open at any ELO so show, really. Um, Evil Woman, always great. All over the world, lovely to hear that live. Showdown, brilliant. Living thing, do ya? A brilliant version of When I Was a Boy. And then one of the best tracks on the album, and it's not even an ELO track, it's Handle the Quare, Care from the Travelling Wilburys. Brilliant. Then we get the best version of Last Train to London I've got. Much better than the one on the Discovery album. Um, Xanadu's on here, which is nice. Uh, Rockariah, always good. Can't Get You Out of My Head. Then we get the 105.3 out overture, always a belter. And we get Twilight, and it includes the prologue at the beginning of the album of time. It's a brilliant version. Probably the best version I've heard of that. Ma Ma Bell, Stonkin. A great version of Shine A Little Love. Best version I've got. Fantastic. Uh, Wild West Hero, another brilliant version. Sweet Talking Woman. Telephone Line, they're all just classics, aren't they? Turn to Stone. The thing, if you've watched the thing, when they do the bit when it speeds up, when they finish, they all look at each other and go, whoa, we done it. Um, Don't Bring Me Now, Down, Mr. Blue Sky, and ends up with, of course, with um, Rollover, Beethoven. Okay, a lot of loyal fans will say, well, this isn't ELO, blah, 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 usual old flannel. But it's Jeff Lynne, the mastermind of ELO. He wrote these songs. Some of the best versions of these songs are on this album. I don't care that we haven't got Bev Bevan and Mick Kaminsky. It's all about the songs and about the man that wrote them and the man that sings them. I just love this album. It's great production and I love it to bits so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9.5 okay that's the ELO family done there's only one more album I've got to find from this family to do a review on and that's the Violinsky album but I am struggling to find it I found two or three tracks but the rest of the album is eluding me. Okay, um, got one more show for the week. Uh, it's a brand new album uh, review, and we're looking at Unlimited Love by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Join me for that. If not, have a great weekend and have a happy Easter. Bye for now.